Hey guys, it's Faye, and I'm here with a guide to make your travels on planet Mira just a little bit easier. First off, thank you guys so much for your support. So many subscribers, likes, comments, dislikes. Seriously, don't mind dislikes. I, I always know I can improve, so good to know. And um, I couldn't have predicted this kind of response and I'm honestly humbled. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but I'm back. Today's guide is going to cover 10 tips that should be helpful to those beginning Xenoblade Chronicles X. These tips are in no particular order, so let's get started. All right, so our first tip, update your party's ground gear. And you know, in any RPG, gear can be a huge help in surmounting something challenging, like say, the boss of a story quest chapter. Don't forget to update your gear, and also that of your favorite party members. Tip number two, remember to level your arts and try some different classes out. While your character has a universal level, there are different classes available after you get Drifter to level 10. Don't forget about this. The game's gonna give you maybe one pop-up where fandom's like, hey, check out these cool classes. So experiment and see which classes you enjoy since there's literally no downside to trying out any class since you can get them all up to max. Tip number three. Set up your probes on Frontier Nav early. Kirsty offers you a side mission available as soon as you start the game pretty much called the Probe Professional that will get you some nice starter probes including a storage probe for completing this mission. After you complete some of the main storyline, she'll offer you another mission involving probes that will net you a booster probe, the first of many useful ones in the game. Storage and booster probes are pretty uncommon, so they'll help you a lot. Having the Meranium and Credit Ticks will also help you a lot, so the sooner you just get a few basic probes set up, the better. Tip number four, spend your Meranium. You can spend your Meranium in a variety of ways, but just make sure you spend it, because in the beginning stages of the game, your Meranium cap is going to be super low, so you'll probably find yourself capping out quite frequently. You can invest in arms manufacturers in Armory Alley, or you could craft augments with it. Do whatever you like with it, just don't let it go to waste. Tip number five, join the Reclaimers. I feel that the Reclaimers are possibly the best starting blade division. I do know this isn't concrete fact and opinions vary, but the boosted drop rate from being a Reclaimer is a nice bonus to have starting out. Alternatively, the Curator's Division is a great choice too for leveling your blade level quickly by gathering collectibles in the field. Tip number six, level your mechanical field skill first. The mechanical field skill is required to place probes. Even some probe sites in Primordia require at least level 3 mechanical field skill to install. This is definitely the best field skill to level first. You can increase your field skill levels at Eleonora next to the mission board as you level up your blade rank. Remember, curators and gathering collectibles can get you fast blade levels. Tip number seven, try online content early. You don't have to be at the end game to benefit from the online features of Xenoblade Chronicles X. There are a couple low level missions you can start groups for or be invited to, and there are the general squad goals that give reward tickets whenever you log in and choose a squad, and you'll have a little kill counter there at the bottom or a collectible counter, and just help where you can. These reward tickets that this rewards, oh my god, how descriptive, can be used to get certain items and most notably rare mission items for you starting out. 
To accept any invites, hit the minus button. You can also win random loot from treasure offers from within your squad. Press minus to enter the pool to win the item. Tip number eight. Collect division rewards and Blade Scout console rewards. Every so often, you can select a reward from the work of your particular Blade division at the network console in the Blade Barracks. It's usually not a huge reward, but it's something that can help you out in the early game. If your character is recruited by someone in the field or by way of the scout board, you will have separate rewards waiting for your work at the Blade Scout console located next to the mission board. Don't forget to register your avatar and pick up some free rewards if someone recruits you. Tip number nine, talk to people and eavesdrop. It's totally polite. Talking to residents of Mira is one of the best ways to unlock side missions and things to survey on your map. Even just running by people with indicators will add info, usually something of interest to do in a hexagon on the map. By actually talking to people, you can also discover affinity links between the various residents of New LA and general game tips at times. Tip number 10, explore and fill in your collectopedia. It can be very easy to feel overwhelmed by the world of Mira. While Primordia is definitely very newbie friendly, even it has its dangers. Enemy spawns change dependent on the time of day often, and a cave that might be a death trap during the night can be perfectly explorable during the day. In addition to this, most every zone has an area safe enough for you to travel in and get some probes installed, as well as collecting collectibles. Enter those to your Collectopedia to get battle points to level up your arts and various other rewards for completing categories, usually statues of holograms that you can place in your base. But more importantly, if you complete an area, you can get some really nice rewards, such as rare probes. These are by no means the only useful tips. Do you have a useful tip to help out beginners? Share them in the comments. I hope this helps you out in your adventures on the planet Mira. This has been your fellow Blade member Faye, and thanks for watching. If this video was helpful and you liked it, please consider sharing it to your friends and subscribing. It helps out a lot. If you like this video, you might also be interested in some of the other videos I've made. Thank you so much for your support.